And also, even machines are taking a lot of functions away from us. There are still functions that we, that we have to you know, deliver ourselves. For example, fatherhood. Sure. So how would you educate your five boys? Actually, I created a little school. <laughs> yeah. What kind of school? Could you describe to us? Sure. It's, I mean, it's small. It's only got 14 kids now, and it'll have 20 kids in, in September. Um, it's called Ad Astra, which means to the stars. That's maybe a bit different from, from, from most other schools, is that there aren't any grades. There's no, there's no like, not grade one, grade two, grade three type of thing. And making all the children go in, in the same grade at the same time, like an assembly line. I know. Um, you know, because some people love English or languages, some people love math, some people love music, mm. and, uh, and they have different abilities at different times. It makes more sense to, to cater the education to match their aptitudes and abilities. Mm -hmm. so I think that's one principle. Um, another is that it's important to teach, uh, teach problem solving, or teach to the problem, not to the tools. Mm -hmm. So this would be like, let's say um, you're trying to teach people about uh, how engines work, or you know, you could start by, a, tr more, a more traditional approach would be to say, well, we're gonna teach you all about screwdrivers and wrenches, and, and you're gonna have a course on screwdrivers, a course on wrenches, and all these things, and it's, mm. this is a very difficult, way to, to do it. A much mm. better way would be like, here's the engine, now mm. let's take it apart. How are we going to take it apart? Ah, oh, you mm. need a screwdriver. That's what the screwdriver is for. You need a wrench. That's what the wrench is for. Mm -hmm. um, and then a very important thing happens, which is that the relevance of the tools becomes apparent. So all your five boys are in that school? Yes. Until when? This is from preschool to... So far to... it's only one year old. <laughs> uh, uh, they like it. They like it? Yeah. And you want to keep them away from regular schools? No, I just didn't see that uh, the re regular schools, just th they weren't doing the things that I thought should be done. Like, you know, those two principles, they weren't uh, adhering to those principles. So I thought, well, let's see what we can do. Maybe creating a school will be better. And um, I actually hired a teacher from the school they were at mm -hmm. who also agreed with me that there was a better way to do it. Have they surprised you in a way of their innovative thinking? Yeah, it seems to be going pretty well. Um, I mean, the kids really love going to school. I think that's a, a mm -hmm. good sign, you know. I mean, I hated going to school when I was a kid. It was torture. Um, so the fact that they, like, they actually think vacations are too long. Mm. Like, they want to go back to school. Wow. Yeah, exactly. That's weird. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there are so many young people, the millennial uh, uh, generation, who wants to start up their own company with the, uh, you know, all these accessibility of the internet and, and such a big market here in China, uh, what's your advice for them? Because sometimes uh, they may easily go to the daydreaming part or the wishful thinking part. Sure. Uh, what's the balance between imagination and, you know, pragmatism, basically? I mean, I do think that, you know, in terms of creating a company, um, you know, what Edison said, what, which was like, it's 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration is true. So a lot of it in creating a company is execution. Like you start off with an idea, and that idea is mostly wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and then you adapt that idea and keep refining it, and you listen to criticism. Some criticism, you discard, the, you know, try to discard the wrong criticism, try to listen to the correct criticism, and then engage in sort of a recursive self-improvement um, and constantly refining it and making it better. And you have to work super hard, uh, and uh, it's, that's very important. Mm -hmm. And then just keep making, keep, keep iterating on, on a loop which says, am I doing something useful for other people? Mm -hmm. Because that's what a company is supposed to do. You know, a company is just a group of people gathered together to produce a product or service. Mm -hmm. um, and a company should only exist if that product or service is truly useful to customers.